It's Sketchy Live Monday. Uh, welcome to another fun Monday. Hopefully your Easter was amazing and you ate a lot of feet, feud. Feet? We were gonna say ate a lot feet. of feud. Feud. And uh, had a, a, a nice time. We did. We did. Yeah. So, hey, I'm Johnny Jalopy with me as always, my beautiful wife. The linchpin that holds it all together. She'll be reading your comments. So uh, she's the one that, uh, what was that? I was doing pin. I don't know how to do a pin signal. Why would there have to be a signal? Or a sign. How do you do? Is it pin? I don't know. I don't know this Why does there have to be a sign? I don't know. I was trying to do lynch. All pin. right. I don't know the sign Already the annoyed. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Sketchy Live Monday. What's going on tonight? We draw or we sketch out the apocalyptic swamp buggy. Uh, Brian Lisa McCoy, uh, some of our great friends. Bouillon Customs. Bouillon Customs. In there on Louisiana Cajun country, or as ADB likes to call it, Cajun country. Cajun. But hey, welcome to the program. That's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to draw a little, uh, we're going to draw one of the armies, uh, our Which, rider, one of our rider dies. Uh, you know, Johnny will I, do on occasion. He, I, he's drawn several of your vehicles. I feel like. Because he's a fan of that. I feel like we're going to start giving people ranks. No. Uh, yeah. No. Like they would be generals, I think. I don't think ranks. I think no. Well, I don't good, think so. Good news. I'm the leader of the Jalopy Army, and uh, I'll be choosing. So. I'm the secretary of the army. And Perfect. I would be the one. Go ahead and take a go ahead and take a note. <laughs> <laughs> take a note. All Guys, right. So we did a little pre-draw. So we're. Uh, I'm gonna me, get into uh, it. Let me get over there. Little pre draw he did this afternoon. Um, we are season five, episode 13 tonight. Which can you means, believe it? Guys, there are four full seasons already done and available. Yeah, on Facebook. Uh, if, if that's good or bad, hopefully, johnnyjalopy.com. In fact, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot my ticker. Ticker, I'm gonna add it there so it's at the bottom of your screen now. Um, yeah, four full seasons. Of Johnny Jalopy, Sketchy Live, Monday nights. Yeah. So go check it out at johnnyjalopy.com. Um, also over there, and I will remind you later again. Stickers. We've got decals. We've got hat sticker shirts. shirts. We, we got, got we got hats, all the goodies. We've got beanies. It is it is. Uh, we're into. We got some stuff. We're out of the. We're out of winter. Just about. I know there's some. Didn't your dad talk about there was some snow heading their way or something? No, it was rain tonight. Up okay. In Jersey, but so it's still a little a little still, wintry in some still. places. But hey, we are heading right smack dab into back to car season. And man, you want to look cool when you're out there at the car show. You sure so do. why not wear something cool? Because the cool kids do. It's Giant Jalopy Hot Rod Art on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me tell you who we've got tuning in tonight okay. to watch this drawing come to life. We've got 24 viewers. Uh, first up, Paul Marziani from Bradenton. Nice. Welcome, Paul. 
Paul and the Lizzie. We got Lizzie Daughtry tuning in. Hello to you too. I'm back. She wasn't doing nice. Well yes, last that's week. right. We're glad that you're feeling better and you are back. She's back. In and you're back. back. Um, Lizzie is joining us from Dade City. If you're joining us, please uh, say hello and let us know where you're where from. Where you're from? We'd like to Feel know. free to share the weather. Feel free to share fun happenings in your area. Give me some content here that we can discuss. That's right. There's always we like to talk about a lot of things. Indeed. Um, Kevin Johnson, K. John, visiting K. from K. John in the Hudson, Hudson, Wisconsin, in the house. Uh, Draco cycles. He says this on time stuff is confusing. I know. Uh, I think we've been pretty consistently we've been pretty on time. Consistently on time. We're we're like ahead of time sipping wine. Yeah, for we've been days. setting up much much earlier and uh, pre pre uh, and gaming, if you will, and no malfunctions. Why would you say that? <laughs> we're in it. Why do you realize that? every single time you do that, you always end up jinxing us? I don't believe in jinx. Well, you can not believe in it, but every single time you said that. In any case, yeah, we are on time, 9.30. We try our best. We and then you best. do the in any case, which means. I don't want to talk about it. Right. Jim Pollan is joining us. Hello from a snowy Hobo's Hot Rod Garage in Horseheads, New York. So see, there Calling is. Calling for 10 inches of snow tonight. Is so it, they there are is, some There snow. is some snizzo. Still beanie weather. Um, as, as Olk Ogan would say, it's Snizzo. Olk Ogan. Olk Ogan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lizzie said that she has new jewelry coming soon uh, to her nice. site, Facebook. Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry, so go check it out. Yeah, free advertisement there. Lou Linder Jr. is joining us from Kissimmee. Louis. Florida. Kissimmee is home of Old Town. That is. It's a fun place. Um, where we have gone on many occasions. Yeah. Occasions. Occasions. <laughs> um, also, to uh, partake of car things, um, they do a really cool little downtown around the town spin um, parade of all the classic cars and cool cars that show up on Saturday nights. Cruise, it's a cruise night down, night down the brick streets of Old Town. Yeah, super cool. And they have some really neat um, 50s themed things and, you know. It's a great time. Yeah, it is. Fun for the family. It's, right. a, fun place. it's a fun place to go. Slingshot the cool thing is that they're, they're generally, um, especially as we head into uh, summer months, there's people from all over the world that are visiting and they go down there and, and they're seeing all these really cool, uh, you know, hot rods and customs and stuff and they're just amazed. Uh, one of the first times that we went, we had a family from Africa who was visiting. And um, I saw pictures of those posted on our Facebook page, uh, and they were just astonished by the cars. And they so all they the got cars to sit would in the line room. up in a parking lot for people to come through and kind of look at. And then around you know six o'clock or whatever time they start the parade, usually it's like eight. It's when it's dark or getting dark. Right now, yeah. Right cause... now for summer, um, and then that's when everybody lines up and they do the parade. But prior to that, I mean, we would sit there all day, and it would just be you know groups of people after people coming in and checking out the cars and what i liked about ours we had uh raquel with us the 51 chevy that was the first car that we brought there mm -hmm. and we were so about people being interactive with the car so we're like oh sit in it oh beep the horn we had the Uber horn mm -hmm. on for a while yeah, and, still do um whereas maybe some of the other people were like don't touch it you can look at it but don't touch it so it was kind of neat to have an interactive car and the kids loved it yeah we were always about it was so cool to be able to sit in the car getting kids to get in the car and and then experience Kona. it. Yep. When we same brought thing. Kona up there, same thing. They they just love it. So yeah, it's a fun time. Uh, the McCoys are joining us. Good thing. They probably want to tune in and nice. see this. I hope so. <laughs> see this come to pass here. Hello to all from the McCoys from Cajun Country. Cajun. Um, Wesley Wilkerson is joining us. He says What's up, it's Wesley? 43 and raining in Sumner. Oh, okay. Sore. Uh, Mario Tagliavini, hello from Argentina. Hola. Well, hey, hola. Buenas noches. Yeah, for sure. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in and checking us out. Doc is joining us. Hello from Iowa. Finally able to watch live. Doc, we missed you. Yeah, hopefully everything's Doc been good. Doc has been sporting some of our Johnny Jalopy gear, for sure. Yeah, for sure. A couple orders come through, so he is set for a little bit. Um, Lizzie said, I'm still waiting for your surprise to come in. What surprise? Okay. 
are we getting a surprise? Did you send us a surprise or did we announce that we had a surprise? <laughs> Remember, <laughs> we, we're really bad about that. So it's very possible. <laughs> did we do it's that? Possible. We, 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 we said we were going to have a surprise. Um, Bob McLaren's joining us from Southern New Jersey. He said, hey, from the 51st state. Welcome. Spud Anderson is joining us. Hey, guys. Good Sp evening. Sketchy Live. Spud. Welcome, sir. Yeah, I'm Spud sure. and his wife, Julie. Friends of ours from a uh, cruise. You guys probably know the story, but we met them on a cruise years ago yeah. and befriended them. And they have been uh, Jalopy Army Yeah, fans that's what I'm saying. They would be like colonels. <laughs> James Olchin is joining us. Check me as present. I am here. Excellent. And he capitalized no, present. No lates. <laughs> Welcome. Trent Hunter is joining us. Iowa here, he says. Well, what's up, man? Fantastic. Welcome. Isn't Iowa... The corn state, I want to say. Uh, there's potatoes. That's Idaho. Oh, you're right. It is probably corn. <laughs> I right. think it is corn. Um, Hank Dutton said we got like three inches of snow today. Wow. wow. And he's in Ohio. Hank Dutton, welcome to the broadcast as always. He's He's been around a long time, as well, probably from the beginning too. Uh, absolutely. Um, Hank is our web designer actually. Um, HankD.com. He's got some really cool stuff going on over at his site, too. He's um, a great 3D artist and does um, tons of websites. Really cool stuff. Digital and, art. Yeah, digital art. Fantastic. 3D so, renderings or uh, 3D uh, figures and all kinds of cool stuff. And still just a wealth of ideas. Oh, all the time. I He has reached out to us after our broadcast last week. We were talking about wanting to do different things. He's talked to us about the NFTs. He's talked to us about yep. um, streaming on multi-platforms. He's talked to us about... And, and hopefully he doesn't get frustrated because we don't pull the trigger we, on a lot of stuff. Push. We just... We just, you know, we do need to get with you. We've so been much. super busy, Hank. We've had a lot going on in the evenings. But um, we definitely been, do want been, to been... schedule a meeting and talk with you about doing some new stuff. Because we talked about Johnny's live, um, not live, uh, original artwork that we want to get on the website and do it in such a way where it's a one and done type of thing. So By the way, I wanted to let you know, I, I don't think I've shared this with you. What's up? Uh, so Hank brought up the 51, you know, because we really yes, only did the one episode. Um you know we're up to almost 110 views on that thing on on YouTube mm. with art. It's it's starting to gain you know a little bit of traction. So I I think it's time to do another one. Soon. Maybe once a month at least. Yeah, maybe. And Hank was suggesting that same thing, and, so, and Hank just wants you to know we were listening, and it's a fantastic aisle uh, idea aisle. It is. It's something that we've actually been talking about because yeah. On the Monday nights, I mean, he's busy drawing, and yes, he can do two things at once, but it is a little bit more challenging for him to engage in conversation when he's trying to focus on what he's doing drawing. So. Yeah, it would be great to be able to talk. I mean, we have so many people that, that are such talented people who have small businesses and well, now are just we doing different bring people in. Yeah, as well. it, it's going to be, it could be way, yeah. way cool. So, so. I, I think it is something we need to carve out some time to do. Um, and it may not be live, it'll probably be pre recorded. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, um, well, yes. was always fun, but yeah, thank you, Hannah, I'm with you. for always watching our back. Um, Lizzie said she's going to post a video tomorrow, and uh, she has her YouTube channel listed here as well. Nice. If interested, Mike Williams is joining us from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I love it. <laughs> I love saying it. It's just so fun. Welcome, Mike. Hopefully, he doesn't get offended by the way you say it. No, like, why do you get offended? It's not his name; it's the state. In you're you're kind of doing an accent, though. I'm sure he has an accent. It's probably a killer accent, like Link Helton. He's from Alabama. Well, His accent's cool, too. Chagre Blanc is joining us. Hi, all, here in snow in Detroit, Mr. LeBlanc, what's going on? The Motor City, right? right. Yep, well, yeah, Detroit, Motor City. Um, Jeffrey Youngs is joining us. What up? Jeffrey and Charlie from Seattle. Another what's PNW going on? Yeah. In the house. Welcome. Uh... Trent said, uh, Trent Hunter said, getting blown away by this wind in Iowa. Um, we, we've we been discussing this because we've had, ever since we got right. our Jeeps, it has been super windy here. Like, I don't remember it being windy. Like, you would walk outside and there was, like, no air whatsoever, it felt like. And now, I feel like I'm getting blown all, all over the road. And I don't know if it's just because the Jeep is a little bit more sensitive to that kind of thing or whether it's just truly been windy. But I think it's just truly been windy here. So, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. John Devries is joining us. Hello again, guys. I'm in Minnesota. How are we? 
Welcome. There's Lane Kelton with the waves. Lane Kelton from Alabama. Lane Kell. Matty Boats. Mattavius Buntis. Um, he says hello, everyone. Hope all had a great Easter. Uh, we did. We had a, we had communion in the morning, which was yeah, nice. Was great. A great time of reflection. And then we drove out to uh, see Mama Wood and yep. Tim in Z Hills. So had a nice uh, meet up with them. And then we uh, went to dinner and came home and had some cheese and wine. Yes, we did. We it was nice. sat and relaxed. Good relaxing evening. Speaking of Mama Wood, there she is. Hi from Mama J and Alien Tim. <laughs> <laughs> love you so much. We love you. We're so happy to see you yesterday. Uh, Julie Anderson is joining us, wife of Spud. Julie, wife of Spud, um, out in the Pacific Northwest. Howdy, we are back, she says. Uh, Draco is to, tuning in 59 degrees in Georgia on my last Monday that I'll have to tap out early. Oh. oh, because his wife is retiring and he doesn't have to go. Oh, anymore, okay. Right? When's her actual last day? How exciting. Well, congrats. Yes. Please send our congrats. Robert Spear is joining us and we're live. He nice. Says, Robert Spear is um Yes. A what do you what do you call it when somebody does a podcast? A podcaster? Yeah, he's a podcaster, host of a podcast. He he host. hosts a podcast called the Bantha Milk Podcast, and it's all about like well, co-hosts co it, co but yes, it. but yeah, um, all about Star Wars stuff. Super cool. Yeah, they really have. Uh, they've expanded. They're always see, and expanding I and talking about stuff. Be honest, I don't. I don't really truly have time for podcasts. Yeah, she's too busy to with her uke. Yeah, my ukulele. <laughs> I don't have a drive or a commute to work anymore because I'm working from home and I'm like super bit from the time I wake up, I'm just all about getting to my desk, getting work done, and then half the time I stay late. So um it's all I, about working for free, ladies and gentlemen. Working right. for free. <laughs> Pretty much. So, so you I kids at home. I'm not a podcaster, I don't listen to any podcast. Johnny, on the other hand, love them. Um, loves them. So love them. If you have one, send him the link, he'll listen to it. Um I just think they're super interesting and it's cool you to just, listen to yeah, people. I'm, and I'm sure they are. And it's I would, great. I would love to. You can learn to a lot. And, you know, you don't have to be, you can become more of an expert on things versus, you know, pretending to be an expert on stuff, you know? I like pretending. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't speaking directly about you, babe. I'm sure you were. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no. We've got Scott Hill joining us. Mr. Hi, Hill, what is going Scott, on? Scott, where do you hail from? Where are He's you? He's in Minnesota He's as in well. Minnesota. I know that's where he was initially, but I didn't know if he I moved. don't think they moved. Let us know, Scott. Maybe he did. Um, Alex Cudron is joining us. Good evening, everyone. He said Mama Wood in the house. <laughs> and he's waving. Love it. Um, Lizzie said, just to let you know, Ronnie Setzer is having a car show on April 30th, Carrollwood Village Park Car and Truck Show. Nice. Um, in Tampa. I don't know um if you're probably working that weekend. Always. Yeah. I kind of work retail. You so. do have this weekend off though. Yeah, and, and funny days of PTO, funny right? enough that there's this big Jeep thing down in Daytona, but it's just too far. No, that's We're not saying this weekend. Yes, it is. No, it's the 29th. I already looked. Okay. It starts this week. It goes all the way through the 20 from the 20th, like tomorrow through next weekend. I have it specifically on okay. for the 29th. In any case. Well, I'm sure you're right then. Won't be going. Um, well, that's what my point was. Right. We were doing something else. Lane Kelton said, I got to get caught up on ordering stuff. I have been slacking. Uh, yeah. Good news. It's <laughs> Good here. news. All still available. Yeah, everything's still available. <laughs> oh, Lizzie said, no, I have a surprise for you two. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. Not necessary, but okay. Not necessary at all. Gosh, you know, once people have our address, they just send us stuff. Listen, I'm <laughs> Love okay it. with it. Um, Robert Frost is joining us. Hello from Indiana. Welcome, sir. Hello. Um, Robert Spears said, my friend is building a Volkswagen bus dragster. It will have a 1,200 horsepower V8 in the middle of the bus. Nice. This sounds like a sketchy live idea. Yes, it does. Send us photos. <laughs> um, Doc says, corn state. Yes, that's what I thought. Corn. 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 What did I say? Corn. Yeah. 
Michael Williams said, hello, Johnny and Nitty B. I'm confused. Are those the world's longest injector tubes or is this a front engine bug? <laughs> well, you'd have to ask, okay. Uh, Kuyan Customs about right. that addition or that modification. Yeah, they, they've done some cool stuff. I mean, are you doing this true to Absolutely. Design? I'm not doing my design. This is their car. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed the big giant. Look at There's a big giant uh, nose ring in the front there. Oh, like, if you would put through a nose. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Okay, are you able to pull up uh, the reference photo? What? <laughs> Not pull out, pull up the reference photo. Uh, I don't have them. Just you don't have it ready. Okay. No. Um, yeah. So cool stuff, Michael. Tune in because once this is done, you will be amazed. But seeing it in real life too is also awesome. Um, Doc said, I got more gear Friday night. My wonderful wife supports my jalopy habits for holidays and birthday treats. Well, we indeed, appreciate it. Indeed. Um, Lane Kellen said I'd make a special trip for 51. We'd love to have you, Lane. He he had so much to talk about when we had him on Sketchy Live the night. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, for sure. We, um, there's a lot of people I'd like to, I'd I, like to get. Uh, here's what here's, I'd like to get the McCoys on and, and talk vision. about this stuff and their and this their is place. What we're gonna do. We your vision, okay? It, because I think the one that holds it back and doesn't want to do it. No, <laughs> I think the 51 needs to be flexible. And almost an on location type thing. I think we should be able to drive to Louisiana and set up, set up a 51 there and do the interview and have a 51 episode. Why are you talking about the obvious as but this, why are we like this revolutionary idea? How long would it take us if we took if we took off a, a long weekend and had oh days, here we go driving up. Do the episode. You mean if we took off a weekday and did it, that would be easy. Like if we did a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or like a Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. I could take. I could take. You can't off. do anything. I can. I think this would be fun to do, and I'm I'm talking about even just people here too. It's not you wouldn't have to necessarily come here. Um, Dale Renner out in like yes! Western Chapel. I would love I to know. Go interview him. He's done so much. Yes. Stuff. Um. Welcome aboard. Off the top of my head, how many people just right around here? Welcome aboard. Shut up. So if you're interested, if you first of all, if you live local, make sure you message right you directly. Message because me because that way you're making uh you're the one that's like getting it, and, you you, can, and then you can't back out. Email us on the website at johnnyjalopyllc at gmail.com. You can click that link on the website. Either email us, or you can feel free to add me or message me on Facebook. Or Instagram, um, ittyb51 on Instagram, um, and let's let's try and do some on location 51s. Um, if you have a cool story to share, or if you want to show off your ride, we're we're gonna start our own TV show. Right this now. is great. It's like this new idea. It is. You know what I if we what if we it. what if we called it like a modcast or a mod cast or a or like. Travel cast. A travel cast, yeah. But but what it so but it's like a, a small thing, so it's like you're not in this big thing. What if we but you shorten and you may like like pod, like pod, like podcast, like a podcast. Oh, what if we did a podcast? Anyway, coming to a town near you. So reach out and make, let's yes, get please stuff. do. Let's just get some stuff scheduled. Because I would love to Let do that. Yeah, yes, that this fun. is the, dreams. That would be fun. Um, Lane, Lane said, even though I'm a nobody, Lane, we had the best time with you here. We had so much fun. Well, so, I mean, you did, but we had fun. I'm just kidding. He brought me honey. It That's what great. I'm saying. See, I didn't get no special gifts. The McCoy said they are an optical illusion. Oh, okay. Um, Ray Haas is joining us. Ray Mr. Haas. Haas. Our Jeeps over at, is it Chrysler Dodge? Oh, jeez. It's Furman Chrysler Dodge yeah. Jeep. I don't Ram. Know the order. I don't know the order. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's old as our Jeep. And continues to be in contact with us. A fan of the uh, show now. And, yes. Um, he actually has a couple of our designs. One of them specifically hanging in his Been doing that, that guy's <laughs> been building custom cars and hot rods for a long time as well. So a wealth of knowledge and, and uh, just a super good guy. He is. He is. Pleasure that we uh, have been able to um, befriend. But yeah, it's been yes, great. I know. Feel very fortunate. I'm excited. 
And now, because we have so many people that are like, oh my God, I want a Jeep now. I, my hairdresser wants a Jeep. Right. We've got my, our pool guy wants a Jeep now. So <laughs> I was like, go see Ray. Go see Ray. So Let's go see Cal. But yeah, go see Ray. Who? <laughs> it's a California commercial. Oh. Hank said, I sprayed deodorant in my mouth the other day. Now I have a weird axe scent. Uh, <laughs> wah, wah, so great great web guy. designer, not such as a comedian. Oh my there. God. I think he's funny as hell. Hank, I love it. <laughs> Keep it coming. Uh, Michael Williams said, Draco, I was hoping you'd be watching tonight. Oh, and then he's winking. Is there something we need to know? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, Draco said, Friday is her last day. Fantastic. I'm so excited for her. Let me write that down. I want to reach out to her. Kathy retires friday i hope i remember um jeff plu is joining us hello it's raining here in my town boring oregon and yes that is the real name of the town oh that's... i was totally gonna ask that is insane is it boring though do you have any fun stuff or do you literally have to leave the town to go do something fun <laughs> um alex kuderon said ohio he's in ohio uh, Lane Counton said the boss was sitting in my office the other day and was looking around, said, I need more pictures. I agree. Can't have enough. Um, Lane, we have a slew, a slew, I tell you, to choose from. So check it out. Shut up. Um, Scott said he is still in Minneapolis. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Still up there. Good for you, man. Yeah. Um, good for you. If it's not freezing, I talked to somebody in Minnesota today and it was pretty darn cold up there. Chilete it was yeah. the Chilean sea bass it up there. It was Chilean sea bass and it was 86 degrees here. So hmm. It was overcast. You wouldn't have wanted to be here today. Michael Williams. Here's where we're at so oh, far. Let me go in. Zooming in. Take a gander while we take a sip. The stance on this thing. It's like it's lifted. It's a Baja bug. Is that what ours would have looked like had we kept it and did the fenderless? Remember the 66 we had? I don't even understand what you just asked. The body that we had in the garage before we got rid of it, you said was a Baja it was. bug. So it would have looked similar stance. Mm. What year is this? Do we know? I don't know. I'm going to say uh, 70s. McCoy's, what year is this? Maybe. Bug? I don't know. So it's got a different front end on it. So it's hard to tell from the front ends, but. Uh... I'm sure they can tell us. Well, did he modify that or was that the original? Well, it's a Baja, Baja front end, babe. It's a kit. Yeah. Okay. It's a kit. Michael Williams said, Jim Powell and I've been going to talk. I've been going to talk to you about ordering this weather. Couldn't you order it for somewhere else? I was hoping to take a walk at my front yard now and have to ski or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh, Jody Lope. And I do this every time, Jody Luciano. I'm just gonna call you Luke. Luce, Luke. What's up, Luke? Luke. It's Sketchy Monday, baby. FCG Sketchy. He's doing hashtag Sketchy Life, hashtag Jalop, hashtag eight one three and Tampa. Nice. <laughs> Love that. We'll take it. Right. Um, Alex said Jim Paul and nuclear spring weather. <laughs> Oh, the McCoy said that Ian made the nose ring. Ian Russell. Oh, there you go. From Full Custom Garage made the nose ring for this thing. Very cool. Mama says, hello, my love. I don't know who she's talking to. Mm. Um, Hank said, ADB, where have you been? Living under a rock? These ideas about the 51 have been here for the last two years. I know. I know. But what I'm doing is instead of us being the ones to say, hey, would you like to be on our show? I want people to contact us and invite us over to do on location at their house. If you have a project that you want to show off, we could talk about that. You understand that means you're going to have to travel. Yes, I will go. I just said local right now. We just took time off. Local right now. That's why the video part works the best. We can also do that. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. If you want to be a part of it, let us know. We're going to start I don't think that's how it works. We're supposed to invite a guest. I, if people need if to be interested. If let people, if people need to be interested. If you're of interested course. Story, Nobody's interested. Message me. Not one, not one of these talented people out there who do stuff, have a, have a shop. They don't want to talk about what they do they and get more exposure. They no, they don't. They will. 
Um, Lane said I'd make accommodations to have 51 at my place. My neighbors have cows that Eddie can see. Oh, good. <laughs> Speaking of which. Oh, jeez. This weekend. 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 <laughs> the running of the bison. <laughs> Johnny is taking me camping. Mm -hmm. We just booked it today. Um, we're lucky we even got in. We're just doing a couple days. It's very. We're, we're kind of we're kind of glamping a little bit. We're not really camp camping. Well, how are we glamping? Because we're having an air conditioner. It's because we have electric and all that stuff. We're not full on every on the, like out in the Ozarks not, yeah, camping. Not, um, we're we're gonna get this little mini air conditioner unit because it is warm here overnight, and we need it chilly. It's Florida. So we're going camping, and he said that there is a dairy farm close by hey, the place that we're going ha is a farm place we're going has a petting zoo it's a farm i'm excited and there's bison roaming in the field right next to where our campsites are going to be because it's a bison farm and there's a pond we can fish i'm so excited you just can't hide it i can't so we're going this weekend and i'm excited so and if you want to rob us our yeah. address is <laughs> Uh, Michael Williams said, pass some pods my way. I like snow peas. <laughs> Draco said, I got some of Lane's honey, too. It's awesome stuff. Indeed. Loving it. Thank well, you I again. I didn't get any that. honey. Uh, Lane said, hey, the honey was enough for two. Itty claims it all. JJ can have two jars next time. What he doesn't realize is when I make him tea, which we really haven't had together. I had tea the other night. Right. Myself. Isn't it interesting how we're always never having tea together? And you then never you, want and to. then you talk about how awesome this honey is, and then you tell me about how Lane Kellen gave you honey, and all this stuff, and I'm like, mm, I guess it must be nice, but you no, know, it's just funny how I never get tea. That's fine. I offered you tea when I made my tea. You said oh, I don't think you did. Anywho, Anywho. Howard Pierpont is joining tea us. Out. Sixty sunset, he says. So the sun must be going down right now over there. 60 degrees, and he's in Greeley, Colorado tonight, Howard. Is that where you are? Who knows? He's a traveling man. He is. Lizzie said looking good, so she's digging it. Oh, Dylan, my son Dylan from California. IA. What? He says, got to stay sipping. What up? <laughs> it's going to be like, shut up. Straight, <laughs> straight sipping. <laughs> you are not gangster. <laughs> the that fool straight sipping. Straight sipping. Draco said, Michael sent me a cool dinosaur gnome statue that's super cool. Kathy loves it. Nice. Very cool. I I was trying to get into gnomes. Um, remember I said I wanted to start doing gnomes? Yeah. And then, then I was like, you know what? If I do them, it's never going to end. Like if I Well, start, no, your, your so biggest much... problem with gnomes is they're outside. And you have to put them out in the dirt. And you're like, I don't want them to get dirty mm -hmm. and ruined. So then it was like, how am I gonna? Where am I gonna put gnomes in the house? Yeah, that was the problem. But they they seriously have gnomes for every holiday and everything too. So, right. Let's see. Oh, the McCoy said it looks awesome. So they are giving thumbs up so far. Sweet. Um, Lane said the video of the skull on the carb is the best. I love that the most. I know, and I don't think he is drawing that side of it to represent it. So yeah, I don't really have a rear view of it. Uh, yeah, but that is cool. It. I saw that today too. Um, Great Lane addition. said, uh, McCoy's, that's right. The best guy who could ever draw your ride. I'm jealous. Maybe I'll talk JJ into drawing my 28 one day. Um, he probably need it here for reference. And then possibly you leave the title and the keys. <laughs> 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 and then he'll draw it. We'll send you the picture and we'll keep the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, tr it's fair trade. It is. It is. So and when said, you think about it. It's a Johnny Cashier, 74 body, 71 side panel, 68 trunk, 58 spears, and other parts and pieces from multiple vehicles. So it is a... One piece at a time. Yeah. It didn't cost them a dime. Um, Hank said... You know it's them when they come in your town. They're going to ride around in style. What They're going to make it. What are you talking about? Johnny Cash. Oh. One piece at a time. Oh. That's the reference they're giving. Oh. Oh. Is that Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> I didn't even know what he was saying. I thought you were reciting something. The lyrics to One Piece at a Time. I didn't know the song. Yeah. Nor got the reference, but now, what is clever? Maybe if Blake Shelton sang it, you'd know it. It is clever. 
Hank said, wait, all this honey is getting thrown around and nothing landed over here. Seems like a stung right in the kisser. Um, Hank, you're going to have to have Lane up for a visit then. Right. He just happened to be down here on business and um, it happened to be a Monday and we happened to say, come on over. But right. maybe he'd be um, on business in Ohio and then maybe you'll get honey. He did make a special trip over to Draco's <laughs> to drop off honey there, though. Just saying. So we'll see. Uh, Lane said, I bet she hides it from you. I'll send you a package. Just I think she does hide it from me. <laughs> and then she throws it in my face. Lane said, Hank's gotten many stings on this end. <laughs> oh, Jody said, it's my nickname. Plain and simple. Face to eyes. Nose, etc. Dope bug jalop. Thanks. So it's his nickname. So it's Jody Lope. I don't, how do you want me to say it? Should I just call you Jody or should I call you Luciano? Luciano. I think he was telling you to call him Jody Lope. Is that hard to say? Jody it's, Lope? It's Jody Lope hyphen face Luciano. But I don't know if it's face, Lope face. Not sure. Maybe Lope face. I'm not sure. Drago said it was kind of sort of on the way home-ish. Yes, it was. <laughs> Guys, we in no way have departed from Volkswagen. We still have Kona. She needs a little bit of tender love and care. A little right TLC. Now. My focus has been a little bit on something else right now. We have been focusing a lot on the Jeep. Building some dreams. Um, and, I mean, we still have Raquel in the driveway. Um, we have some plans for her as far as... Uh, Moving on, moving around to another family. Somebody's yep. gonna giving someone else a chance to, at a cool custom. <clears throat> we haven't put her up for sale yet, but it is coming. It is coming. It is, coming. It is happening. It is going we to happen. We discussed it. We're good with it. Yep. So, um, that being said, even though make your bids. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> even though Raquel, our fifty-one Chevy, was also my car, at least Johnny's car, it was something that he did. He tinkered with. We did it together. That was our, our, that was the car that we fell in love in. We did. We did. Um, and then Kona was his car. I mean, I, I drove around and I helped him put stickers on it. I did a little bit of stuff with you. But now with the Jeeps, um, it's a whole other. A whole new world. A whole new world of things to do. There's there we go. Jeep clubs, Jeep events. Let me see in here so everybody can see it um and it's not like we're abandoning the other vehicles no not at all but these have just been super fun and it's a super new thing and we're still learning well i'm still learning about things about the jeep things to do to the jeep places to go with the jeep so well the best part has been watching you because not that you ever said anything negative about me looking at parts books or on websites and looking at different things and trying to get ideas and stuff. Not, not that you ever said anything negative about it, but I think for the longest time you didn't really understand, understand what, why there was this like, oh, this I, gotta, need I, gotta look, I, gotta, I gotta look at stuff and make it my own and I want to make it personalized. And I think even, you know, as, as I was, you know, a few episodes ago where I was like, oh, you were talking about paint colors that I was trying to come up with and I, I didn't want to share it yet. Right. until i did it i was like oh you're giving it away i i, I think now you kind of see why you kind of hold your cards because you like there's so many of them out there and, and you're trying to make yours unique you're trying to make it where it doesn't look like 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 the other night we saw a gladiator stingray green or yeah Sting stingray gray. gray uh big tires on it had some orange accents and and yet you know, I was, I went to look at it and you're like, why would you, it doesn't, they don't look the same. And I'm like, I know it's cool. To, it's cool to look at, okay, what did this person do? I, I don't want to do that. I'd like that. I don't like that kinds of, kinds of things. I think you're, I think you're seeing that part of you has got to keep some of your ideas here until you execute your ideas. The thing of it is, is I've never really had a car that i've done stuff to i think the closest i've ever come was with the equinox when you did my my chevy um but thing in black and you you did my wheels my he plastic dipped or whatever my mm -hmm. wheels black 
that was the only customization that I've ever done on a car. And it wasn't even fun. Like it looked better when he was done with it. You liked it more. I did. It made me like it more. But with the Jeeps, and really this was months of Johnny planning to get his Jeep and things he wanted to do. He's been researching this for quite some, probably the last couple of years, but really hardcore in the last year as far as looking at the different ones that were available. And initially you weren't looking at the Gladiator, but then decided, yes, that's what I want to get. And, and then by me getting the Wrangler to have the best of both worlds, having the one with the truck bed and then having the one that's just kind of a, a runabout, it's been, it's been really fun for me to want to customize mine a little bit. And I'm, I'm really not going overboard. I'm not doing a lift. I'm not doing different tires. Well, that's, so that's, there's the interesting part of this whole thing is I, I still believe because again, you're in the early stages, which is in the early stages of this thing. That's not, I wouldn't call it an addiction, but it's this thing that start, you start being driven by, Oh, I really love this. I like that. And, and it's gonna it's gonna it's already happened to you because for the first time you're searching through amazon and you're looking for parts you're seeing different stuff and you're going oh what is that you're asking questions and you're noticing stuff and i just think that the coolest part is i've watched you even with the you know the jeep wave thing and all that stuff where you've embraced this thing that that almost becomes where you're like oh i'm a part of a I see where I other, feel like I'm a part of something. Other people are out there doing it. And we yeah. kind of share that common thing, even though I think you felt that with the car stuff. I did, but it was more you. It was more your. You were like, oh, I'm along for the ride. Where this is where it's it's you and it's you get, getting the getting the wave. And it's you where they're like someone coming out as you're going in, as you're going in to get coffee and going, oh, nice Jeep, you know, where you're getting compliments of the vehicle that you drive where that didn't happen before and, because and here's why because i never drove those cars i know you were always driving so I it am. was your car I i'm know. now driving my jeep and mm -hmm. i feel like it's mine it is yours i know but that's what i'm saying it's so cool. what's cool is to watch the progression of this thing happening where you're looking at parts and you're coming up with ideas and you're i mean you're talking <laughs> we went to ikea and she saw a bag and she's like, oh, the, the, the colors it on this. It was an Ikea bag, but it was like. Really big. Black it's, and it's, white. Yeah. So she's like, oh, this will match my interior. I'm going to go with the Jeep. And so I can do groceries. And I'll have a really good <laughs> match. So I can leave it in the Jeep. She's talking about all this stuff. And it had to do with this. And, and as silly as that little touch is, it's, it's a custom thing. You know, as you look at the McCoy's thing. I'll guarantee you every piece of items that, that are on that thing, like. For instance, the the uh, oar that's up top, the paddle, yeah, it's an oar. It's it <laughs> purposely there. Why? It must have some meaning to that. Them and and more than likely, I'm gonna bet. It's it's they like open the what? door and no wave themselves out. No, someone's gonna ask, why do you have an oar? That kind of stuff. It's 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 provoking it's to que thing. questions and well, you no. Know, why would you do a piercing on the? Because why not? Right. Why, why not? Did you do your tattoo. Yeah, it's, it's all that stuff. So I think I think you're starting to see it, and it's fun to watch. It's really fun because we we've, think you're we've been able. I am because we are having conversations about uh, modifications and customizations of these vehicles, and it's I, we share it now. And you're and you're not going. Oh, I don't know. Why would you want to put a different wheel on it? I don't get it. I don't need to. Right. Why is that? Because you noticed. Yeah, cool one, no, because right. Because you noticed the original o OEM stock factory wheels look well, terrible. They weren't running They're running. horrible. They're terrible in design. They don't look good. They don't. They definitely don't do anything to the look of the vehicle. And you recognize that. To the point you made sure that when you got yours, it didn't have street tires on it and factory wheels. They're factory, but they're more, they're more of the, their custom stuff than it is their right. OEM stuff. I, I honestly didn't even want it because you even said, just get a regular Jeep and we'll get you new tires and wheels. And I'm like, I don't even want to drive it off the lot and be seen. It, right. It looks, <laughs> those are seen. ugly. I didn't like them. Oh, I didn't like them. 
Anyway. I agree with you. Uh, you didn't hear any arguments from me. I'm like, I agree. They well, are terrible. You're pretty excited because I'm not, I, I haven't said one word about anything you wanted to do or money that you spent to get your sure. I am. I'm not going to uh, not say that that hasn't been great because it has. <laughs> but I, because I understand. Yeah. And I, I want you to have everything you want. Right. And this is like your, like one of your dream vehicles. It really is. I'm uh, like as a normal everyday driver vehicle. So. Yeah, and I'm loving every every minute of it. Ladies, Guys, what you, do you think you of this? You gotta support your husbands, ladies. Ladies. Let me zoom in on it. Um, Lane said, "I actually passed through Columbus to get to bees in Moultrie two weeks ago." Sorry, Draco. Kind of in a rush, or I would have taken a minute to visit. Ah. Howard Pierpont said, yes, really. Picked up my 90-day travel car, Chevy Blazer. Can't get the manual lift gate up. Ah, the Chevy Blazers are nice. I've liked the new ones. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I, I had I, one of those as a rental out there when I went to Mojave. Oh, was that? Well, you had the, oh, that's right. You did. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it came back and I was like, you should get one of these. I know. And I was like, nope, Jeep. Lane said, uh, Draco, same thing. When I came out through, I definitely thought about y'all. Draco said he would, would have loved to see him. Um, Eldon Gustavo Venancio is joining us. Welcome, sir. What's he up? says, hello, mi amigos. Hola. How are we doing? Hope all is well. Uh, Lane said, Draco, uh, with a truckload of bees, we can't stop longer than 20 to 30 minutes, and we have to move. They get hot and leave air. Aw. Babies. Um, David Lacey said, are you guys coming over to Daytona for Jeep Beach, uh, Jeep Beach next week? David, what day is it next week? Shut up. <laughs> I have Friday on my calendar and it's uh, not one day. It's a whole week. Oh, well then why is it why do I just have Friday? Because you looked at just one day of the events. Well, is it going on next weekend as well? Uh, well, you're the one that knows the calendar, so you tell you tell me. Um, we won't be able to come during the week because we work. Already and we've already made some prior arrangements. Next week? No. Well, yeah, I work, so I'm not really he good. Works. And I knew that. Yep. So I didn't even try. No, our, our open uh, weekend is this weekend, and we already have plans. I'm never good to go do nothing. Doc said, love it. Eddie Baja is the best. Miss my two. Yeah, this one looks fun. This one looks like it could go through swamp stuff. Now, on this type of car, because it's air-cooled, well, do they have a snorkel on this or no? Why would they need a snorkel? If they go through swamp stuff, does it screw with the um, up in the air? Air cold. What's up? It's lifted up in the air. Well, the engine in the water. Oh. As long as the water doesn't go in the carburetor, you'll be all right. I. I yeah. Um, the McCoy said that paddle went with an old wooden uh per out or perot boat that i had for years and my uncle used the net when he was when he used to go crabbing way back before he passed everything uh, on the boat has sentimental value that's to awesome Aww. shaggy said it's looking sweet well hope you let, you dig what i'm doing so far john debris said it's looking good uh david lacy said the 29th and 30th are the best days like i said um we won't be able to attend Unfortunately, because Johnny's working. Um, Lane said Pee Wee is cool with the addition as long as he doesn't want to go see a drive in movie. <laughs> <laughs> look, you've even got the stickers on there. It does look super cool. And I like the color. I normally don't like green, but I like their green. It's like a all drab almost, you know. Dark green, like a forest green. Lizzie's loving it. Yeah, it really is coming out good. We're trying. Yeah. Trying to get this thing to look good for some of my favorite fantastic. people. Yeah. I know. We really appreciate all of you guys tuning in. We still have Absolutely. 20 people tuned in, checking this one out. How many? 20. Hmm. Good deal. We are going to look into um, streaming on multi sites. We've just been doing the Facebook Live right now, but I really think 
this would be great on Instagram too. You have so many followers over there. Yeah, it would be fun. And I, I don't think people realize what we do over here on Monday nights. Yeah. So got to get the word out. Doc said it needs a snorkel. JJ shelled my first one having the crankcase tub in the water. Four quarts of water and lots of froth. Hope I get the green right. I think that's too light. Too light? Well, you're looking at it from that screen. Uh, oh, me, you erased it already. Yeah, let me, let me pull uh, it up. Because it's a, it's a, like a dark green. Like a, you're so good. It's like a dark green. Is it a it's dark like green? A forest green. Hmm. It's not that. It's not that bright. It's kind of muted. It's almost like a flat green. Okay, this is more of a. Yeah, it's like a flat green. Um, Again, it's uh, sometimes this is the hard part of trying to match colors. I know that's tough, and it does look a little different on his screen than it will when you get the print. McCoy's will will be sending you a print. Oh, we're not gonna make them make them buy their own. No. <laughs> We're getting quite the value here. <laughs> um, Draco said it's more olive drabish. Yeah, a little bit. We'll work on the color. And then there's the splotch. I got the splotches. He has the splotch already figured out. Yeah, that was the fun part about um, decorating Kona, too. We Johnny searched high and low for, he wanted like a, vintage type cooler up there. He wanted a surfboard up there, which we had such trouble finding. I mean, I guess if you wanted a good, like a brand new one. I didn't one, have any trouble finding one that was uh, really expensive. Yeah, they were expensive, <laughs> but like just one that people Used ones that throw were really out and, bad. Yeah. But I mean, like some of them would be broken in half and they were still selling them for a couple hundred yeah, bucks. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm not going to surf this thing. Yeah. So between uh, that and then you wanted vintage luggage and you wanted a vintage cooler. Yeah, and we did all right. We were able to find pieces uh, as we went along. And then we had so much stuff in the rack, which we still have it in the rack. We had no room for actual stuff that we needed to put up there. What, what other stuff did like we need to put up chairs there? Chairs? No, no, we never needed chairs. No. Nobody sits in a car show. No, just you. Naz Malone is joining us. Welcome, Naz. We hope things are going well down under. <laughs> I say it every time. Every time. <laughs> um, Brian and Lisa McCoy says it's Krylon, olive green from Lowe's. Best paint there is, Krylon. That's what Lane said. It's the best way to handle touch ups. Yep. That's what I always use. Tracy Cortville is joining us. Welcome, sir. Hey, my sweet friends. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm not myself Sorry. tonight and can't figure out why. I do know I'm where I need to be. That's with you guys in the jalopy arm. Well, we're glad you're we're here because you see. are yourself and you're here. And we like who you are. We like the you that you is. <laughs> Indeed. And you is in the house. In the house now. Yes. The Jalopy Army. We have the Jalopy Army sticker available. Yes, we, we do. We don't have the stickers out tonight. Uh, they were they were glaring with our uh, lights. Yeah, they were they lights. were upset, and what? so we said, "What are you glaring at?" So we just stop moved glaring. I don't know if you can see these stickers down here, but I have um, two of them here that are actually ones that we have been throwing in with every work. Um, also, we water. have, and you can't really see water. them. Every the camera's off a little bit. Water. We have our wristbands. Can you show them your? Oh, you don't have it on. I don't have mine. Uh, yeah. Gripes. His broke. Because I wear it. So because I wear it. Urdu. Cord. Um, it says "Stay Sketchy" with a little Johnny Jalopy logo, and it says Johnny Jalopy and Itty B on it. So you get a little wristband as well, while supplies last on the stickers and on the wristbands with mm -hmm. every order that we send out. Um, of course, we have all the stickers available, two sticker packs available, and so many more ideas. We have just not. Oh my goodness! On. Yeah, I gotta get. Uh, I gotta get that uh, full color T-shirt out with the Model yes. A. That's coming. We should be able to do that stuff this week if you if you can. Well, we'll see. We have some stuff planned for the weekend that we need to prep for, but um, we're probably ready to go on that stuff. Did this light go off? 
Which light? You didn't plug it in. Oh. Helps to plug it in. Darn it. I was like, because I turned it on. But yeah, plugging it in would that be. That always works. That, uh, from what I know, electricity, modern electricity is pretty is. amazing. <laughs> I turned it on thinking it was on. And then I'm like, why is it not lit up? Oh, funny. Because I usually plug it in. But you were the one handling that, so I didn't remind you. Um, Russ Randall is joining us. Welcome, Russ. Russ What's and his up, wife, Russ? Peggy Randall, have been longtime jalopy as Armians well, yep. as well. Armians. Armians. <laughs> so excited. Um, Nas said we get the chairs out here at car shows as well. Yes, we do. Um, the Randalls are joining us from Great Bend, by the way. By the way. By the by and by. Um, the McCoy said, I had to build a surfboard for the Swamp Surfer. Real boards were too expensive. Oh, so you made this one yourself. The Swamp Surfer is the, the doom buggy that they have, the other doom buggy they have. For the Swamp Surfer. Yeah, yeah. it's not. this is not the Swamp Surfer. This is the Swamp. Yeah, but he made a surfboard himself. I understand that. What I'm telling you is not this car. I understand that. I'm seeing that there's not a surfboard I on think it. you did. You thought it was this one. No, you I'm did. saying. You did. Why you couldn't did. we have made ourselves? Because I didn't want to make one. I wanted a real one. Oh. That would have been a great idea. Would you make it out of wood or resin? <laughs> Hamburger cheese? What'd you make it out of? Um, What'd you make it out of? Um, Tracy wants to know, Itty B, what is your favorite color? Can't say why, but need to know. Tracy, if I'm going to be completely honest, my favorite color is the absence of color, black. Um, if I were going to choose an actual color, it would be red. That was my accent color for things. So black and red. Uh, Tracy said, you reminded me where I was needed. Well, we are thankful that you are joining us. Yeah. Lane uh, said to the McCoys, right, for a piece of foam covered with fiberglass, yours is probably better by far. So a normal surfboard is foam covered with fiberglass. That's yeah, how they, they make them? Yes. Oh, why did I think it was wood? I don't know. Back in the I old thought, days, but in the fifties and stuff. I thought the wood inside was what made it float. No. So it's the foam. Styrofoam. That makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Doc said I loved the extra stickers. Thanks for those. Uh, and the band. Yeah, you probably have like ten sets of those stickers and ten wristbands. Give them away. Tell your friend. Um, Shaggy LeBlanc said I would like uh, to. Johnny Jalopy Army stickers for my 1930 balloon alcohol car. Shaggy, oh, send, yes. me, send me your address because we owe you. You've done some cool stuff for us. I still am so thankful for that last uh, thing he did for us over the holidays, the um, light up ornament that he painted. Yeah. So um, we for never sure. got square with you. I'm, I, I don't know. I may have sent you a t-shirt. I don't know. Just tell me whatever you want. Whatever you want, I will give you. So message me. Doc said black is the presence of all color. Darkness is the absence of color. Oh, okay. You're right. So darkness saturation. falls across black the map. Saturation. I hear yeah, the I midnight. That, that color does look good. Actually, it's it's not as good on the screen that I'm seeing, but in on Johnny's screen and the print itself is going to be like the exact color. I think that's great. Thanks. Yeah, really good. Fantasmic. And again, this is just a sketchy uh, Monday night rendering. If he were doing custom work for somebody, um, there are people that contact him. He does custom renderings. A lot more time is put into it. A lot more detail is put into it. This is just a fun sketch that he wants to do tonight. So I'm still trying to be a little detailed, but yeah. Well, I mean, you're you're still, but it's much quicker. You take sometimes days on some of these other ones Oops. for people. So, um, Nas said, "I sent you a little video from a show I attended this Easter weekend to view at your leisure." Oh, okay. I sure will. Thank you. Uh, the McCoy said, "Glued two sheets of three-quarter plywood, cut out the patterns for two boards, auto paint, and a whole lot of clear varnish." Oh, very cool. See, they made it out of wood. We could have done that so easily. I didn't want to do that. But had you done, I it, didn't you could have customized want and made like a Johnny to do that. surfboard. Yeah, but I wanted a surfboard. I wanted a broken one, which is what I got. Well, then there you go. You get what you pay for. I got what I wanted. And what you paid for? I didn't have to pay for any of it. It was all free. 
You got it for free? Yes. Wow. Oh, I didn't know. Well, then that. Well, was that's good. why I didn't share with you because <laughs> that your, was a good deal. None of your business. That was a good deal. It was none of your business. None of your. Be of me. None of your business. This is fantastic. So we were talking the other day about um, we only have a two car driveway, but there's a section to the left of our driveway that's just used to be grass, I'm guessing, and now it's just sand, dirt, weeds, whatever. And we were talking about putting a removable pad there, not pouring concrete, we don't have to contact the HOA, but putting down a pad so we can park Kona because she's probably the lighter of the two vehicles. We have 51 Chevy and then a 62. I gotta do with the Sage is Chevy, babe. Huh? You just I gotta just say, we have a Chevy. We have a Chevy. Anyways, um and I was telling Johnny that I saw this stuff that you can put down that you can park cars on and it, it's removal. So when we leave, we could pull it up. Or if we decided to move the car out of there and grow grass there again, we'd be able to pull it up. Because I'm wondering if anyone else has used this and if it works. It's They, of, they use them on construction sites so that big heavy machinery doesn't, doesn't damage grass or or uh, stuff. So they use them as like a, a little temporary road, if you will. Kind of. And drive their thing over. And then they just pick it up and take it when they leave. We would just place it down in this area and then just park a vehicle on mm -hmm. it. But with the rain and stuff we get, like we would totally do that just in the in the grass or in the dirt or maybe put some rock down or something, which was one of our thoughts as well. But with the way it rains here, it just it like floods because it just drops rain during our little monsoon seasons that we get during, over the summer. It would just, the car would wind up getting stuck. It would probably sink in the mud. So a way to alleviate that is to put this thing down. So I'm just wondering if anybody else has, has used something like this. And if you think it would work, um, let us know. Lane said contact Park. Contact is itty B because John already knows it works. For long term? Yes. Maybe I'm wanting a second. I think you thing. I think you should call your boss. He'd probably know. <laughs> He's no longer my boss. Um Lane said a tarp. I don't know if a tarp would look a tarp wouldn't work. finished it's enough. It wouldn't work. No. I don't think it would. Not for not for the HL. So that's something that we're considering doing to lengthen our area. We just want to get, let you know exactly what we're to doing. Get feedback. I just want to know how I don't, people I don't think do we, it. I don't think we need it. I, I would I'm like good. it. I would like some feedback. All it's going to do is make you second guess anything I'm going to do, which you already do. I'm the one who came up with the idea to begin with and presented it to you. Hey, whoopity-do. <laughs> Just trying to get some more information on this so we can see if it's I, I don't need any more information. I sell it where I work. So I have all the information I need. Thanks. You sell it, but you haven't used it personally. I sell it, which means I know what it does. Anyway. In any case. In any case. <laughs> I wanna I wanna lengthen our parking area. And if we do that, we may have room for an extra car. We'll see. Maybe there's a present around the corner for Johnny. There's not. <laughs> Never is. is. Um, HOA can be a pain in the arse anyway, Lane said. Yes, indeed. Uh, Lane said, go with JJ idea. There we Look go. At Look at him back. In yeah. Here. Nice. Wait, he's trying to get on your good side because he feels guilty about the honey. <laughs> My honey should feel guilty about not listening to me. I, it's not that I'm not listening. I'm just asking what other people are doing. I don't think it's necessary. You have somebody who knows. We've got people with multiple cars. How are you storing them? Is it in a garage? Like a 10 car garage that you have? Are you putting them in the yard? We're talking about a swamp. Bucket. They're on much bigger property than us. They're probably not foolish awesome. enough to live in a in in an HOA. HOA. <laughs> it is 
as possible. Elaine said, you should be guilty for taking this honey. I am willing to share, willing to share. Huh. Debatable. Mm -mm. Yep. Tracy said, I'm thinking about getting a shredder for used tires. Hmm. It separates the rubber from the steel belts and all the tires. You can charge to take and then sell the rubber for driveways and recycle the steel. Loads of money to be made. What a great idea. Yeah, there's a lots of, I mean, they sell of that. home improvement places try to sell the, uh, so if you could make it yourself and cut out the middleman. I can. Where are you getting all the tires from now? Like, would you have to buy the tires? Yeah, probably most most probably tire shops would be like, yeah, please take them. Ten bucks or whatever. Why do they even charge? They probably say like, please take them, so we don't have to pay recycling fees and stuff. Oh, is that what they would have to do once they accumulate so many you can't store them anymore? Yeah. Jody says, "Dope sketch." Uh, Bob McLaren said, my backyard is a, um, is a paved lot. It holds about 30 cars. Nice. Wow. And how many cars do you have? Yeah, we don't have a paved lot. Once we get our yard fence, we'll probably have some room in the backyard. <laughs> Johnny would love a paved lot. Um, friends of ours in uh, the Volkswagen group that we're in on Facebook are realtors and they come across some like where it's mostly garage and then like a studio apartment. <laughs> it's yeah. like a 10 car garage and a studio apartment upstairs <laughs> for like a single guy. Hmm. Oh, Bob said he only has one. Ah, <laughs> well then you're hosting some killer parties over there and you've got some parking. There we go. We're getting there. We're just down there. Close to wrapping this guy up. What do you think? Let me zoom in. Guys, likes and loves, tell us what you're thinking. If anybody knows of the swamp buggy or has seen it on the McCoy's page, you know what it looks like. I think he's doing it justice. Looks great. Uh, John Debry said the wind blows the rubber all over the yard. Not good. Um, I would imagine it would be a little light. Yeah lighter than rock um probably about the same weight as mulch though right yeah we talked about doing it or uh, using some of that stuff we we're gonna use it out front by the road yeah the park, yeah i would imagine that's an option more. um lizzie said new screen saver she's also said we have three vehicles parked in our front yard we are fenced in yeah we have one two three four vehicles five vehicles out there now um, Lane said, JJ, I'll be on your good side soon. I have something I'm going to give you. I mentioned it before. Be watching in the mail. Better than honey. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you don't got to, you guys don't got to get bring me anything. Tracy said, tire places charge two bucks a tire to pay the dump. They will pay that to get rid of the tires. You can also sell the rubber that's beaten down to rubber pellets for playgrounds. That's true. That's pretty cheap then, actually. Yeah, a little uh, side biz, I guess. If you have the storage room and the... Yeah, you get the, the capabilities of doing it. Why yeah. not? We don't have the room. That I tell you. Um, Doc said sweet drawing, so he's digging it. Looks great. Have fun. Now, how often do you guys take this out, McCoys? Are you out in they, this every looks like day? They were out in uh, the car show a couple little while ago. Are you just taking it to shows, or do you actually cruise it through the swamps and stuff? That's what I think would be cool. Like when we we talked about with the jeeps doing like rock crawling and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to want to do that with mine, but I think it's. It's neat to watch the way people do it, though. I mean, it's just such careful have you, precision. You've been watching it. Yeah, I've seen some stuff that mm -hmm. friends of ours have posted. Okay. The Covingtons have posted some stuff when they've gone out. Cool. Um, like where there's like a, a cavern in the middle, but their tires are on either side of the little cliff thing, and they're driving over this cavern. I'd be scared shitless to be able to do that something like that. I don't know if I could do that. Why couldn't you? Because they're they're literally like this. Their car is driving like this. 
Mm-hmm. Where this is all open in the middle and they're driving like this, where so, if one wrong move, the, the, it's going in. Yeah. How do you get out? You pulled out. You would ruin the car. That's why you wouldn't do it. That's why I'm not doing it. I'm not going to drive where I <laughs> could get a scratch on it. I'm not going to ruin I don't even car. want dirt on it. Yeah. You'll, you'll get past that. No, we'll see. I'm just going to go out there and put a big keyhole <laughs> right on the side, and then it'll, it'll no. be all over. Then you won't have to worry about it anymore. John said, see you next Monday. Got to go. Got to go. Looking great. Yeah, sir. All right. Well, week. sorry we're missing you. Jeffrey Young said, nice job. Now we're heading to the fun part. You're missing the fun part. What? The, uh, all the chrome. chrome. Oh, let me zoom in on it for everyone. Tracy said, love, love the bug. It's awesome, JJ. Draco said this looks very McCoyish. <laughs> Jeffrey Youngs is giving a thumbs up. He said nice. Here's where we got some chrome. That was the other thing I couldn't understand too. We'd see, and theirs is, is a bit patina as well, but we'd see these cars that were, when we'd go to car shows, just very, very rat rodish and just piece together and paint job was all scuffed up and and then they would have these wheels that shined that looked brand new tires that looked brand new a lot of them like with a white wall not a speck of dust on them and i'm like why would they put <laughs> these brand new tires on what looks like an old broken down vehicle and then i have come to realize that's what you do that's what you do and it looks cool uh, the McCoy said we have 12 vehicles scattered throughout the property. I have a car problem. Lisa's going to send me to the Henry Ford clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Gibbons says, is the Swamp Baja a local Florida person? Actually, they are in Maurice, Louisiana, Mark. Um, that would be Brian and Lisa McCoy. Yep. Um, Jeffrey Young said, I like it. The, uh, Lynn Kelton said, the McCoys, I have the same problem. It's real. Tracy Corpel said, now that's a play on words, LOL, the Henry Ford Clinic. It's funny. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to visit their property, mm-hmm. see all their stuff. They really got some other cool vehicles and just totally car people, both of them. And he's very knowledgeable and very handy, too. Digging the chrome. Can you guys see this? Super good. I love that little side box holder there. What do you got in that box, guys? Doc said, thanks for a great night all. Have missed it the past few weeks. Makes my Monday much better. Loving the rendering of the swamp buggy. Thanks for hanging out. Indeed. Lane said, I have seven on insurance and about 15 that aren't. Oh, geez. I honestly think if we had a bigger property and had no HOA and you had the room to do it, we'd probably have more cars. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think? Well, I would, I would hope. You pick up projects or, or you would get stuff as parts for vehicles that you're trying to fix. But, right. but again, we don't have the time. That's the, that's the biggest problem with all of it mm-hmm. is finding the time to do everything that we're doing. Full-time jobs, this part-time gig, um, your custom stuff that you're doing for people, the side jobs you do. Yeah. And then you add on top of that, uh, we're very involved in our fellowship. So yep. that takes priority a lot oh, of absolutely. time. Absolutely. Um, Teaching time. and sharing yeah. And, um, yeah. time with family and then just time for the two of us to do like what we're doing this weekend. Spending I time together. Yeah. I didn't realize that the Jeep, I honestly thought the Jeep thing was the 29th. That's what was on my calendar. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't think we'd be able to go because you weren't going to be off work. So right. had I known it was this weekend, we could have foregone the camping, but, yeah. but we booked it. We booked it. I uh, actually was thinking more along the lines of as much as I'd like to do that thing and go to it. Um, just spending some quiet time with you is more important to me. And there'll be other Jeep things we can go to. Yeah. 
That was an ah moment, but if you missed it, but that's okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't actually. I don't think I'm gonna change my mind now. I don't want to be around you. Right. You're annoying. Lane said Hate addictions you. are really real. Parts are good to have and not enough time is bad. I agree with you. Jeffrey Young said, my wife made me downsize on all the vintage boats and old Chevy trucks. Yeah. It's um, tough. I, I, think, I think a wife can keep her husband grounded at times. You know, there are some things that Johnny wants to do and I'm, I'm just... I'm not 100 percent on board but you're respectful and you think it through with me and we come to a, a conclusion yeah but you run the show I mean, that's don't. how it is <laughs> draco said that was beautiful jj i know she didn't he pay tried. attention it's I fine did pay attention to it's him. fine it's all good little fine lines and details going in on here guys because he is almost through hey what do you think about that that's pretty cool right yeah it really does wow and I like the colors in the background too. Makes a pop. <laughs> Jody said Jalop took it back. LOL. <laughs> right? You heard me, huh? That's fine. He loves me. Hmm, debatable. He's mean to me on here. Well, I'm not he mean to you. I, I think you guys all just saw I was being very nice and very uh, sincere about something, and I got blown, totally blown off. It's fine. People know that I worship you. Doubt it. Um, Jeff Young said, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Nice. Well, guess what, guys? Even though this is the McCoy's ride, yeah, it's, it's going to be available, available to everyone. It's a cool it's a cool vehicle. Why you not? too can own <laughs> a rendering of this cool swamp buggy, the apocalyptic swamp buggy. The McCoy said, you're all welcome anytime out here. I alternate it between the Howard ranger to work we try to hit a lot of the local cruisins very cool michael williams said you have your priorities others theirs nobody's wrong just not the same that's true we make our choices tracy corkville said you wear the pants and you have your wife's permission to say so lol <laughs> tell her that draco said my cool stuff purchasing power will diminish substantially friday i know I know, Draco. It'll be okay. It, it's gonna it's gonna be great for both of you, and the two of you are gonna renew your time spent together. It's gonna be amazing. Tracy, um, our Lane said Tracy Corfield the same in my house too. LOL. Uh, Jeffrey Young said my son Charlie has been chiming in. He's been waiting to watch Johnny. At work. Oh, what's up, Charlie? Well, here you are. Hopefully, you're digging it. Yeah. This has been a fun one. Hopefully. A couple more little. I'm trying to get some cool little lines. details in there. He's always adding more stuff that we wouldn't even think to put in there. He's going to put in there. Take and shape, guys. By the way, these uh, renderings come size 11 by 17, so it's a pretty good uh, poster type size. Full color. And yep. I'm telling you, the color that you're seeing on your screen is, is good, and how this looks on his screen is going to be nowhere near the quality or the way it's going to look when yeah, you get it's, it. Yes, it's not as, uh, but I think it has to do with the screen that you're looking on as well, because yeah. we've been having some trouble with that. That screen, but uh, it definitely the, the actual green that is on my screen is pretty close to that uh, their color, I think. We'll have to take a look at it when we get yeah. out, but it does look pretty cool. So twenty dollars for these designs that we do on Monday nights, and not just this one, but we have again the last four full seasons, and um, and then everything from this year as well in season five available. Johnny's done some um, stuff off the top of his head. We've got some cool uh, Volkswagen stuff in there. There's a lot of camper design stuff in there. We have a lot of camping things in there. Um, and then also movie cars. We've done Ghostbusters. Lots of movie Dukes cars, yeah. Hazard, Christine. Um, what are some of the other ones? What are some Batman. of the... I mean, we've got just a ton of stuff. So if you're looking for some maybe, you know, toilet time scrolling 
feel free to head over <laughs> to johnnyjohnny.com <laughs> and take a look. Hey, if you got nothing better to do while you're pooping. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, and then any merch too, guys. We have, you know, the jalopy gear available. So the hats, Johnny is wearing the OG trucker hat in black and white. Um, we have the sketchy speed equipment hat down here in gray and black, trucker hat as well. Totally adjustable for your head size. We have uh, t-shirts available ranging from small all the way up to 4XL right now we have on hand. Um, and all of those designs, over 20 different shirt designs on the website. So you'll definitely want to go check that out as well. See what you'd like to get. Uh, Father's Day is approaching quick. Um, and it doesn't just have to be for fathers. Women can wear our apparel as well. We That's have right. Of them that do. But um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, those holidays are coming up. So take a look and get your orders in now. Um, we have added a shipping fee, but it's very minimal. Very minimal. Not a lot at all. So check it out. Over at johnnyjalopy.com. Um, Jody said, we're... yeah, it's beautiful from here. McCoy said it looks awesome. Mark Gibbons says, every time I think no more cars, someone says I'll sell one for 300 Here we go again. <laughs> Six now and one in the works. Damn problems. Michael Williams says, as my great uncle, Aloysius, on my sister's side, says, Aloysius. Boats occurreth. Translation, ships happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the McCoy said those size spears came off of Mr. Ronnie's 58 Corvette that burned in his first museum. Uh. Yeah, definitely some cool pieces on there. And like they said, very sentimental. I think um, anyone who's doing car customizing has those sentimental yeah. touches that they put on it. You try to. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's the apocalyptic Let spot buggy. In. Let me zoom in. Very cool. Hour and 22 minutes tonight. Not too bad. Not too bad. We appreciate you guys hanging in. Yeah, us. hopefully you had a good time. And again, let's lower that. Let me try to lower this down a little bit. I'll change some of the color. No, it's still going to look better printed. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little better. Yeah. Um, Tracy said, I wear my OG trucker hat daily. I've told so many people about Johnny and his art. I pull my phone out daily showing people his website and his art. We appreciate it, guys. We appreciate the likes, the loves. We appreciate you sharing this video. We appreciate you sharing the website. Absolutely. Yeah, johnnyjalopy.com. We're also available on Instagram, and we have stuff on the uh, YouTube. i got to get that stuff updated a lot better. Yeah. So much better, but uh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of ways to find us. Um, feel free to add me as a friend on Facebook. That's Itty B. Uh, Itty B51 on Instagram. Instagram. And then I'm still just Elizabeth Wood. You still are just Elizabeth Wood, <laughs> but that's okay. On Facebook. I love you. I know who you are. You're great. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that way I can see some of the stuff that maybe Johnny's seen, like in our feeds, because you know, he'll, he'll be able to reference something. And then I'm talking to you guys. So I can be like, Oh, by the way, I saw what we posted or, Oh yeah. I saw that photo that you posted. Or, yeah. Like I would love to be able sure. to have some content interaction as well. So some of you have, have messaged me and, and added me and that's great. And I get to see some of the stuff you're doing, but um, anyone else feel free. Elijah, you're just going to get a lot of <laughs> smoochy love crap on mine and um, Julie said, totally off topic. Your grandbaby is the cutest. I know. I do yeah, you'll see grandbaby. tons of that. and uh, yeah. Tons of grandbaby pictures. Yeah, <laughs> but that's still, still awesome. So there you go, guys. Another Monday night in the books. In the Thanks books. so much to Brian and Lisa McCoy uh, for letting us uh, draw up their cool, cool uh, Volkswagen Swamp. Did they have a choice? Oh. <laughs> I guess they did. No, they didn't. They I mean, they shared and they in. let people know that, that, that I was doing it. That's and true. I'm That's appreciative true. I do of, feel like you were supportive. of that. So they were very supportive of us doing the vehicle tonight. Um, and you know what? Yours might be next. Maybe I'll get a wild hair up and maybe next week. Who knows? You, your your vehicle might be the next one getting uh, done. I do do. I do do. I do do. Uh, not as much as I'd like to. <laughs> not today anyway. Yeah, no. Uh, salad. I wish the salad kick in. But anyways. Um, I also do custom renderings. Um, and again, like ADB was saying, you know, this is a, a sketch done in an hour and 20 minutes. 
if I'm doing a custom rendering, of course, I take much, much more time than that to really get the fine details and do. But um, I mean, this is a good representation of, you know, the, some of the, the outcome of, you know, what it would look like in my style and the way I do it. So uh, if you're interested in having your vehicle done, uh, please contact me at johngelepi, LLC at gmail.com. I'd be happy, happy, happy to give you a price um, of it, of, you know, doing a rendering and love to, love to render your vehicle. So hit me up. Not to mention logo work sure. and um, artwork for t-shirts yeah. and stuff like that. He's been doing a lot of stuff locally, uh, but also for some people out of state as well. Yeah. And uh, some, we've been hit up by some great companies like Reading uh, Truck uh, uh, Beds. I don't know if you know, if you're familiar with them, the lar uh, largest uh, commercial truck uh, beds uh, in, in the country um, built here in America that uh, we ju just did a custom rendering for them of, of one of their, their vehicles and utilizing their truck bed. That was fun. Mm -hmm. And they let me do it in my style and I have a good time with it. And it, it may be a relationship that they go further. They talked about maybe us doing some some other work and, and, and that it'll be fun. So yeah. we're super, super uh, appreciative of that kind of stuff. And of course, you know, Littler companies like our, our local uh, company called Churned Ice Cream, who oh, they awesome. sell a homemade a small batch ice cream out of their uh, old uh, bay window van. Um, and uh, they had me do a rendering on uh, some uh, of their van so they could do T-shirts. And they've done they're doing apparel and they're doing all kinds of stuff with the uh, artwork that I did for them. So I'm super appreciative, Churn. Um, so, yeah, hit me up. I'd be more happy to to work with you as well. Um, contact me, of course, at EB as well. She'll be more than happy to pass along information. And again, if you're interested in being on the 51, please again contact us, John Droppy, yes. LLC, gmail.com, or message us. We'll figure out the video, yeah, frame, for sure. Fine tune that and get you know, we have plenty of folks that we'd love to talk to. I'd love to sit down and talk to, you know, um, guys like uh, Shaggy, Shaggy, absolutely. Yeah, Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Yes. Uh, actually talk more to Draco about his past stuff with yes. Draco Cycles and, He's got a, and stuff I like love that. His voice. Love to get Hank Dutton on and talk yes. about all his knowledge and, oh and different things. So there's so many that people. That would be a couple hour episode. Easy. And, and, and so many people. So I, listen, I, I, it'd be interesting to talk to uh, Spud and Julie just about uh, all the stuff that they're involved in in general. That's the great thing about the 51. It doesn't have to, it's not necessarily specifically about automotive. It, it's all things. Right. Uh, automotive custom culture and just life in general just part of thing, people who are in and out of our lives that was a great thing about art smith you know nobody knows who he is if you have an opportunity you want to see a really cool video go check us out on youtube it's the, the 51 our first episode with art smith that guy has a wealth of knowledge mm. knows so much it's stuff it's been through guy. so much stuff and it's just a phenomenally great great human being and i'm blessed to have him in my life and and, and know him as a as a as a person calling my friend. So um, yeah, we'd love to be in more contact with you guys too. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Please tell a friend Monday nights, uh, sketchy live with John Jalopy, itty B. We'll see you guys next Monday. Have a super week. And stay, stay sketchy. sketchy. <laughs>